All right, Bugatti EB110 Super Sport Championship, the version 9.4 rendition. This is one of the shorter ones, um, so I suppose I should better get move on it. It's for me 40 free gold, at least on this account, so um, probably won't be running it through on my <laughs> placeholder account for this one. So yeah, so... There we go. All right, mine is fully upgraded on this account because we've had uh, upgrade discount on this car in the past, which is uh, one of the reasons why I suggested that uh, possibly just winning the car, this car, if you don't own it, uh, from the event archive uh, limited time series because it's cheaper, lower, PR requirement, right? I mean, we're talking cheaper by some, like, difference of uh, some 300 gold. So, I don't know. That's a pretty big deal. Um, so, let's see. So, as you can see here, because I already own this car, the 100% completion reward does not include the car itself. Which obviously is a okay. So anyway, uh, let's uh, just uh, see if we can get started. There is a 24-hour instant service and instant R&D on racing dollar upgrades once you win the first race. So even if you decide to go the event archives route, I would say run one race in this limited time series so you have that instant service and instant R&D on racing dollar upgrades available to you for the first 24 hours, which is plenty of time to complete a limited time series. So either this one or the other one, or possibly both, <laughs> if you really like this car. So anyway, here we go. Sporting the Kind of a sky blue finish. I feel like that's a fairly uh, fitting color from the era the car is from. You know, I mean, early 90s. And uh, yes, uh, probably not going to go into too much detail in terms of the cost of meeting the PR requirement and whatnot in this video, simply because uh, there is, I've already posted the series overview. So I'll have the link to that video in the description box below. But uh, this one will just focus on the race itself or the, yeah the event right check out some different racing modes of course bumper view looks same really across the board no matter what car you drive because you're just looking at the pavement and then we'll slowly crawl across the finish line for the first gold trophy of this limited time series Minute 38, almost minute 39. <laughs> Payout, as you might expect, is pretty dismal. That's what you would expect, right, from the early stage single lap head-to-head -head race. Takes out some three and a half service bars. Alright, so that is good enough for the gold trophy number one. So one down, 44 more to go. Let's uh, tackle the speed snap at Spa. So this event, of course, all about how you handle the Brussels and uh, the no-name corner that comes afterwards, right? Sort of the 
right-hander, left-hander. All right. And uh, look at that. Kind of fun to see the gear shifting hand going down there. Kind of fun. And all the classic needle gauges in the dash. Tachometer, the needle dropping with the RPM. Fun stuff. Always appreciate the nice detail touch in the interior, the cockpit view. Um, I mean, this one's okay, but it's, you know, looks pretty uh, standard affair car interior, right? But uh, like the ones like Pagani's, the uh, interior looks like you just want to touch them. <laughs> they look so good. All right, and to wrap up the first tier, we got a two-lap cup at Berlin Circuit. So tier one, there is no PR requirement. And uh, looks like a grid of 16 cars. All right, look at that. I am levitating. Sweet. Who knew you can levitate? <gasps> oh boy. It's the force field of Berlin. Or something. Oh, that's great. Yeah, the intro screen for the Berlin circuit always had a kind of a funny thing happening. And uh, I don't think it was levitating in the past. The wheels were always grounded, but the, the chassis of the car was kind of like floating higher. So it looks like your um, like ride height was jacked up all the way. Almost like um, somebody's, you know, trying to get to the underbody to work on things. <gasps> oh, sorry. That is a bright yellow finish. That that is like, yeah, definitely late 80s color, isn't it? Those kind of like vibrant colors. Right? Nowadays, like all the newer cars are more like, uh, I don't know, went, went with uh, perhaps a little less dating, uh, less dated or more classic colors, right? Anyway, it's fun to see some color varieties. Speaking up, let's pull out of the cockpit view so we can see a bit more of the racing line. A couple of blind corners. Getting into the tunnel and early braking to get a nice head start. And a little hesitation for the longest straight. Or as close as you get to a straight in this circuit. Basically the fastest section. This car, well, with really any Bugattis, although this Bugatti handles really different, differently than all the others in the game, just simply because the PR rating is so much lower than the, all the newer Bugattis in the game, right? Because what do we have? We got Veyron, uh, Shihong, and uh, Devo now. So those are like, you know, absurdly fast. Uh, versus this one, well, 90s technology, more, or perhaps more like 80s technology, right? Automotive technology. So, a bit more on a standard road car affair, I would say. Certainly to today's standard. So, anywho, just over 220. 221 and 577 for those two laps. Best lap, minute four and change. All right, takes out another couple of service bars, maybe two and a half. So pretty short two laps. Gets the 
gold trophy number three, which unlocks the tier two. Earn some 4,000 racing dollars. So that gets us uh, one tier down, 14 more to go. So we'll continue on to the next tier in the next video. So stay tuned and we'll catch you guys in the tier two video. Thanks.